Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Polyester here. Okay, first things first. We did complete the day three reward challenge as a community. It was close, but I guess at the end of the the 24 hour period, we just nosed across the line and got in those uh, 250,000 unhooks that we needed to rescue fellow survivors. Or if we didn't, they kind of looked the other way with a wink and said, close enough. Anyway, they said we got it. So, if you forget what we were playing for, it was these cosmetics here. Old Man Jake and the Marked Spike Mall. So, let's see if we got it. There's the birthday cake. There's Old Man Jake that's given to us. And then the other one, I believe, was a um, hillbilly item, yes? Hillbilly weapon? No? Let's see. Yeah, there she be. Mark Spike Mall for the birthday. All right, so we have completed days one. We got the Dweirder and the Marked Bolo Machete. Day two, the old school windbreaker for Claudette and the marked bloodlust axe for the Wraith. Day three, as I said, is just in the books. Right now we're working on day four, this classic sleeveless top for Nia and this marked bridal saw for the nurse. Okay, so this event is called Chop Shop, Chop Shop Stuff Burrito. Chop Shop Stuff Burrito. And to do this, the killers must successfully use their power 500,000 times. So, ways that killers successfully use their power are a trapper. Well, a trapper needs to grab a trap survivor from a trap. That is how the trapper uses his power. The wraith needs to um, successfully have a surprise attack. So, uncloak and then hit someone counts uh hillbilly is a chainsaw hit that is probably the most obvious one maybe even the easiest one i don't know or maybe myers will actually be the easiest one the nurse needs to do a lethal blink so she i thought she just needed to blink to use her power but no it has to be a successful scoring attack with her power so she needs to come out of a blink and then hit a survivor lethal blink so i guess that means hit them out of the blink to where they get knocked to the ground I'm assuming that's what that means, a lethal blink. And Michael Myers needs to achieve the evil within, so he needs to do the stalking. Probably going to see a lot of Myers today, because that's a pretty easy one, I would think. The hag has to do a, fan a phantasm attack, so I'm assuming that means that they need to teleport into one of their mud statuette traps and then hit somebody after they teleport. And the doctor needs to successfully uh, blast out his shocking cone of madness and ha hit somebody with it. That one's probably an easy one, too. Okay, so on the other hand, survivors need to add 250,000 objects to the map. Now, uh, the, the reason this video is a little later than my others is... I wanted to get clarification and I wanted to get this right for you guys because I didn't know what that meant when it just said add objects to the map. I thought that meant bring um, a piece of equipment into the game. That's not what it means. When they're talking about bring an, uh, add an object to the map, they're talking about the actual map that you bring as a character in the game. You have to read the map and identify items on the playing field with the map so once you've read the map and uncovered those items those are considered added to the game so it says for example a generator an exit gate a totem etc scoring events for map scout are complete the complete completing this challenge okay yeah we know we'll unlock the uh, uh, classic sleeves okay adding objects to the map means having the map and using it to reveal items on the playing field generators totems hooks etc the challenge will be achieved quickly if people use the add-ons to extend the range 
and the add-on to see more items. Rainbow map with the extended range add-ons is going to work the best. If you have rainbow map in your inventory, that's going to add the most objects to the map and qualify for this add 250,000 objects to the map challenge. And then they had one little blurb here that says, please do not forget the devs looked at the average 24 hour numbers for these goals and just bumped them up a bit for the challenge. So these numbers are totally reachable just playing the game the way you have been. Okay, so that's all of the business handled, I do believe. And we can get back into the game now. Um, I do already know what the... Uh, I do already know what the the day five daily challenge is because somebody sent me the picture, but I'll hold off till tomorrow's video. And I may even know what the day six reward surprise is, or at least part of it. But again, I'm not going to spoil it for you. It looks pretty cool. So we'll turn this off and we're going to play the game. I looked at my characters. The only person that I really have who even has a map because some of people don't even have maps and if you know what that reference is 10 points for you some of people don't even have maps is my Meg I don't even have maps for many of my characters because it isn't an item that I use I don't use maps in the game so when it would come up on my blood map I didn't pick it because I don't really have any interest in that item in the game so I would go the other way it's like I can have a map or I can have a toolbox well I'm gonna pick a toolbox because I know how to use a toolbox map just isn't an item that ever really appealed to me so I have these add-ons moderately increases the range of the map tracking ability and then I have this other one am I getting in a game or is it kicking me back out to the lobby Do, 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 do. I have this other one that says that everybody can see the aura of the map. So I'm hoping, now again, not being really familiar with how the map works, I'm hoping that if other people can see the aura of the map, I've had other people play maps before and I could see items that were near me, even though they were using the map across the other side of the playing field. So I'm hoping that this is the thing that does that so if other people can see the aura of the map, maybe those items are being added to the playing field on their end of the map. I don't know. I Like I said, I don't really know a lot about how the map works. I don't use it. But I'm going to... I'll look through my other characters and see what I have. I think this might be the only map that I have. Because my, even my Meg only has one. So obviously... Whatever points I have in my um, my blood points, I'm going to have to use them on the web to buy more maps just to do this challenge. Because you can't stuff a burrito if you don't have any burritos. you got to have the shell to stuff the burrito. So what are we going to do otherwise? Come on, get me in the game. Ace, you got any maps? Ace has no maps. See? I told you. I know. I already know Bill doesn't have any maps. Bill has no maps. I know Fung doesn't have any maps. Come on, put me in the game. I need to get in here and get some points. I need to add my ignorance of how to use the map. <laughs> to the community <laughs> and help out on this challenge. <laughs> I was, I, even when I found a map in a chest, I'd be like, oh, it's a map. Map is like the least enthusiastic item that I could get. Other than maybe broken key. Broken key and map. Give it to me. All right, so while we're waiting for this, Let's see what some people are saying in the big wide world about this challenge so far. 
Dear killers, don't kill map users if you want this event. Really, it's that simple. That sounds that sounds like a, a good suggestion. We need maps. Here's somebody that says, "So I played around 20 matches in the last couple of hours. After each each map, after each match, I asked the survivor, "Why didn't you bring a map in the game?" And their answer was, "We don't have any." So I'm in that boat as well. I was like, "Um, okay." So I checked my own inventory from Claudette, where I haven't used an, any items since she has all perks. What I noticed was that I only had eight maps. That's not a lot for so much leveling. Though I guess the issue is not that people don't want to use a map. It's because they don't have them. And one of the responses is... They are super common items, though. I have 61 rainbow maps and 181 green maps. They are so useless, though. <laughs> I don't have a single map on any character, which makes it 10 times harder for me to contribute. Plunderous Perk is your friend if you don't have a map. I play tons, and I also have very few maps, but lots of map add-ons. So it seems like this is a common problem. So hopefully they said they have taken the data from how we normally play and only bumped it up a bit. So I guess the people who use the maps are uncovering quite a few items at once. Because it doesn't seem like a lot of people are playing with maps in normal games. If this is any indication from what people are saying here. We need more burritos. Somebody go to Taco Bell. We need more burritos. Taco Bell is not a sponsor of this channel. All right, get me in the game. Come on. I needs to play the game. I cannot help with the challenge if you don't let me play the game. I have my one map that I'm ready to contribute. Let's go. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play today. Honestly, I may just have to leave this video as is if it's going to give me this much trouble loading. And just say, here's the instructions, now you go out and do it. I, You know, I usually want to give you guys an example so you can see it firsthand what's happening. But if this isn't going to let me in game, what am I to do? I don't normally have this much trouble finding a match. I may have to restart. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Lobby. So what else have we got on the uh, the old anniversary schedule here? So tomorrow is going to be Survival of the Fittest. That I don't know what that's going to be. Uh, mm, oh, oh, I got a game. Yay. Okay. So now I got to... Maps, maps, bring maps, bring maps, we need maps, more maps, no, don't like free stuff, free stuff I guess, I want the reward. Map use. Stop being a selfish bitch. How is that selfish? How is that selfish? We all we all get the reward. As a community. I'm helping you too. <laughs> I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're off to a great start on this reward, aren't we? <laughs> My teammates all want to kill me because I brought a map. Isn't that special? This is going to be great. This is the best reward yet, you guys. Bring maps. No, stop being selfish. What? What are you talking about? We all benefit from this. Again, it's like the person that commented on the other day on my video, I don't have to do anything to unlock this. 
But if we don't get the goal, you don't get the thing. So if you think you're going to sit back and get the freebie by not contributing, it may be true, but if it isn't, you're the one to blame. If you don't try and help contribute for the good of all, you know, like a, what do they say? A high tide raises all ships. We all get the benefit if you do it. So it's my point of view. Anyway, I'll kill you. Stop bringing a map. What? I don't care about my rank. All I care about is this. Now watch, they're all going to try and sandbag me now. some points for this totem. So my map's about half gone. Now I need to get to the other side of the map. Of the field, I should say. I have a feeling it's a Myers. Think uh, that I'm trapped in here with them. They're trapped in here with me. Watch this. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I have the map, sir. Sir, I have the map. Don't kill me, sir. I have the map. <laughs> He's face camping her. He's face camping her. Like, I'll hang this person up then. They're not going to come save me. By the way. How did she miss that? Did she go around? How did she miss that trap? Do 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 do. You little itty. Now's the time to come save me. See, they're hoisting that person. Yeah, remember how I tried to save you? 
<laughs> Wee. I would love to just Kobe off in your face. Map is gone. That's probably a bad idea. Okay, let's find another box. Let's find a box and go look for a map. Oh. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of me, because she made sure that I was going to be in second state before she picked me up. So that's the end of me. I did what I could with my map. Reveal some stuff, that's all I care about. I'm not going to watch the end of this game, because these people are uh, not my friends. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time, everybody. Bring those burritos! I hope y'all get 4K. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you next time. Okay, I lied. <laughs> Let's see them yell at me in the chat. How's that? she doing what's finder master doing here self-care is such a great perk that's why everybody runs it that's why it's one of the most run perks. It's so good. It's like eternal healing. Saving that sprint burst. 
Whoa! Oh, wow, that worked. I didn't think she was going to have enough time to get through there. That was GG. She's buying them time. Uh, no trap there? No. No trap there? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How are the others doing? That's her first hanging. Wow. Well done. I thought you were looking for traps. I, I was like, oh, that's smart. She's looking for the trap before she goes down in the basement. So this might be too dead now. I don't see. Yeah, I think. Beer Daisuke, I think you're on your own. Recommend it, Beer Daisuke. Oh. Now or never. Does she have enough time to pop a trap and pull her off? There's a trap she avoided. Oh, look, what, 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 where, she, she's dead? What, what's going on? Is she in the hook? What's happening? Is she stuck in the hook? Where did she go? I think she's stuck in the hook. Can she move? She is stuck in the hook. Look at this. Can you get out? <laughs> well, now I'm glad I stuck around. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't bring a map. ha. <laughs> <laughs> and now and now you can't even get the hatch because she's stuck down there in the hook until he figures it out <laughs> you you can't get the hatch now because she's going to stay alive here at full health stuck in this hook unless she can somehow figure out how to free herself from this I think he needs to hit her oh my gosh I wonder does Beer Daisuke even know what happened? This is a crazy, crazy game. Let's see what happens here now. If he comes down and realizes she's stuck in the hook, is he even coming? I mean, there's no reason to suspect at this point that she would still be in the basement. That's karma. That's what happens when you don't bring a map. <laughs> Oh, hi. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry I'm enjoying this too much, but when people are rude to me in the chat, when I'm just trying to help us all and say, hey, guys, can you bring a map so that we can, like, all benefit from this and they're like no dumbass you're being selfish like how am i being selfish i'm sacrificing the the this game right now the battle to win the war 
right? We win the war, we all benefit. I don't think that's selfish. I don't care about my rank. I don't care if I don't pip in this one particular game. Hi, yeah, there she is. She's stuck in the hook. What do you think about that? <laughs> Can you knock her out of the hook there, bro? Grab her? Anything? Is it gonna have to DC? She's like, no, you DC. No, you DC. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. <laughs> what, what is that all about? She's pointing. There's actually a fifth survivor hiding in the locker. Go over there. And he does it? What is that? <laughs> what is he looking for exactly? Is there a crowbar in one of these lockers that he can pry her out of the hook with? What is he looking for in the locker? Maybe he can't see her? I don't know. I would think he could see her sticking out. He's swinging at her. He must suspect she's there. I don't know what it's like from his POV, but... Oh my god. What a cluster fudge this is. Let that be a lesson to you, ladies and gentlemen. This is what happens to you when you don't bring a map. Oh my gosh. I thought there was a way to smack them out of the hook when they get stuck, but I've never heard of anybody getting stuck in the stanchion in the basement, only on an individual hook. This is a first for me, and I've never had it happen in-game. I've only seen pictures of it, but they've all been in... Uh, above ground hooks that they were stuck in. Never seen anybody stuck in the basement hook before. They're gonna have to DC. It's gonna be like you on the phone with your girlfriend. No, you you hang up first. No, you hang up first. Which one of them's gonna DC first? Cause I don't see any resolution to this. And Polly, you weren't even gonna stick around for this at the end of this game. Little did you know that all of the uh all of the laughs were going to be here at the end. All of the drama. All of the action. Right here at the end. He's like, oh, is she still there? Oh, yeah, she's still there. Well, if I walk away, maybe she can figure out how to get out. No, she can't. She, she's been trying to get out for ten minutes, bro. She don't know how to get out. And now they're both... This is going to be... A test of the wills. Who's going to hang on to their stubbornness enough to say, I'm not giving up on these points, rather than just quit and start a new game? Like, at some point, it makes more sense for you to quit the game and sacrifice these points than to wait here forever, doesn't it? You could just be in a game and done by now if you would have just left and said, Ah, oh, I'm stuck. I'll go play another one. She's like, you go. You leave the game. No, you hang up first. No, you hang up first. <laughs> Honestly, he should just walk away and go make a sandwich and make her quit. Because this this test of the wills, if, if he just walks off screen and she thinks he's never gonna quit, then she'll quit. He needs to go AFK and just like, okay, well now it's a good time for a bathroom break or a, a soda pop or something and, and just make it clear that he's no longer there. Cause she's obviously there. Cause she keeps trying to do her crouch move here. Oh, this looks different. Maybe he can hit her now. This looks actually looks different than the previous view. No. Chop her head off, Trapper. But Testa Wills. 
Maybe I'll be the one who goes AFK. <laughs> and you guys just let me know when it's over. This is the part where you guys fast forward to near the end of the video to see what actually happened. Oh my god. See, now she's not moving. Now I think that she might have gone AFK and they're going to wait each other out. At some point, doesn't it make more sense to quit, sacrifice these points, take your quitter hit, your rank hit, and just say, I'm going to get it back in the next game? We got no more movement on her part. I think she went and had a potty break. I wish you could see killer perspective, but I guess if you did that, then you could warn somebody if you were on Discord or whatnot. Oh, she's back. Chop her head off right there, Trapper. She's putting it right there in the guillotine. She's like, you go. You leave the game. You quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to lose my points. You lose your points. And to me, this is being selfish because really the trapper had upper hand. So he deserves his points more than she does. She barely got pulled off with like, you know, a hair of health left on that bar. It looked like she was already ghosting up into the sky when Claudette picked her up. I'm like, oh, was it too late? Did she get consumed by the entity? Where is she? Didn't know she was in the hook but she shouldn't even be alive. So if somebody has to be the bigger person and be the one to quit, it shouldn't be the trapper. It isn't the trapper's fault here. The trapper had the upper hand in the game. The trapper deserves his points more, in my opinion. So if you want to talk about being selfish, I think we're looking at the person who's got the selfish account right now, who is trying to force trapper to quit and give up his points by waiting him out. That's the way I see it. Trapper quits, then you know we're not going to get an end game. Uh, we're not going to get an end game chat. I'm not going to get an end game chat with this person anyway, because they're going to have to quit. So either Trapper quits and there's no end game chat at all, or Finder Master quits and I can't talk to Finder Master anyway and say, "Well, that's karma. <laughs> that's what happens to you." But uh, so I guess we'll just leave it here. And you and I can both wonder, because it's ridiculous to sit here for a half an hour to see who wins the battle of the wills and is the one to actually, ha ha, I outlasted him, I made him quit. And I won the staring contest. I won the dead by daylight staring contest. I am the champion. It only took me 27 minutes and I could have played two more games in the meantime, but I am the winner. That's stupid. All right, so in the meantime, I'm going to give Trapper his props before they get lost. And you... Uh, no, you're not getting anything. That's what happens when you don't bring a map. And there's my 3,600 points, so I don't care. We're still here. <laughs> In case anybody was wondering, we're still here. All right. I'm going to leave it here. You guys will just have to wonder in the end. Maybe I'll uh, I'll put it in the description of the video if you're dying to know which one of them blinked first in the staring contest. I'll let you know if it was Trapper or Lori Strode. That's the end. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. Be good to one another and bring maps. Let's do this. Don't be a Lori Strode. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.